Hi, I'm Chad with Move for Guitar. This lesson is from our series Chords for Beginners. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play an open G6 chord. So here's a G6 chord or a G major 6 chord. And this is a less common beginner chord, but it's a really useful chord in the right situations, depending on what other chords you play with it. Um, most beginners learn the G chord, the G major chord, either voicing, there's two different voicings early on, but this is another one that can be really useful to learn early on. It's actually a lot easier to play this chord, it's just you'll find it in less situations typically, because it has a specific sound to it. So there's two ways to fret this, to finger this chord, and the first way is like I played. And that's with your third finger on the sixth string, third fret. Your second finger on the fifth string, second fret. And that's it. Then you strum through all the strings, any note that you're not fretting. So the fourth, third, second, and first are open. You just let those ring out. So that's the first way to fret it. The other way is like this, which is common to how you would hold a regular G major chord, but you would just release your third and fourth finger. So that would be your second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and your first finger on the fifth string, second fret. So you're just basically switching your second and third finger with your first and second finger. And the way you fret it just depends on what chord is after it and you know what's going to be the easiest transition depending on what way you fret it. And with this chord, just make sure that you're on the tips of your fingers, that you have a nice arch here and your knuckles are not bent back like this. A lot of beginners run into that problem. Make sure all the strings ring out clearly. You're not blocking. You don't get any sound like, like that. If you do, you just need to keep adjusting. Make sure all the strings are ringing out. And make sure that you're up close to the front fret wire with the fret that you're in. So Right here is the third fret. With my third finger, I want to be up close to this fret wire and not back in the fret like this. Because any note that you fret on the guitar, you want to try to get as close to the front fret wire as possible without being on top of it because it takes less pressure to make that note ring out clearly. If I'm back here in the fret, I get buzzing and I'm going to have to put a lot more pressure. Some chords it's not possible to get every single finger close to the front fret wire because other fingers are in the way, but with this chord it is possible, so just make sure that you're up towards the front of the fret near the front fret wire. And make sure that your thumb is straight up and down, it's not sideways like this, and your thumb will probably be up a little higher, not down low like this, although it could be, it just depends on your hand and what's comfortable and what chord you're transitioning to. Um, everyone's hands are a little different, different sizes, different anatomy, so it really just depends. Just make sure your thumb is straight up and down, not sideways like this. And you're probably going to have some good space between your hand, the palm of your hand, and the neck. Although back here, your hand can be touching the neck. Just make sure you're not blocking the first string when you're doing that. Like I said, everyone's hands are a little different. Just make Find what works best for you and just make sure that your thumb's not back like that or that your knuckles aren't bent funny back or anything and that you're on the tips of your fingers. So when you think you have the chord down, strum through all the strings. Go through each string individually. If you hear anything like that, just keep adjusting your fingers until you can get all the notes to ring out clearly. So that's an open G6 or an open G major 6 chord. If you like to get the diagram for this chord, you can click the link on the screen and it'll take you to an e-guide that you can download for free. And in this e-guide, it has this chord, but it also has a whole bunch of other beginner chords that'll be really useful for you to learn. It just gives you a bunch of options for different chords and different versions of chords, and it'll really expand your knowledge and give you tons of options for playing chords and songs. And along with the chords, I give you a bunch of options for chord progressions. So I take the chords that are in the e-guide, put them together into sequences, and create chord progressions out of them so that you can actually hear them in a more musical situation. And you can learn the chord progressions to see what chords sound good together and also get ideas for different chord progressions that you can create on your own.
That way you won't just learn a whole bunch of random chords and then have no idea how to use them. This will show you musical situations that they can be used in and really expand your knowledge and help you as a beginner. So if you'd like to get that e-guide, just click the link on the screen and you can download that for free.